Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be creating our first grid using Singularity. And this is going to be awesome. It's going to be a uh, just a real basic 960 non-responsive grid, but it's going to do all sorts of cool stuff for us. So what I want to do first is create a partial file. Um, if you didn't see our video on uh, globbing, check it out. I'm going to be using globbing for this. So I have a partial in here that's just going to be grid.scss that's inside of my variables folder. And I'm gonna assign a couple of variables. So uh, our grid system needs some stuff to be set up, right? Basically we need a couple of variables and those are uh, grids and gutters. So just like any uh, grid that you've ever used before, there's grids and gutters. So for grids, you're going to tell it how many columns it's going to have. So I need to say dollar sign grids, just like that. And uh, for this, I'm going to give it a, a value. Since uh, we only have, I don't know, this is going to be a huge grid. Let's just do a 12 column grid. That's pretty standard. And now let's have a, another variable, which we're going to have be uh, dollar sign. And this is going to be gutters. Okay, so just like that. And this is where you tell it how big you want your gutters to be. Now, what's nice is that you can give it a value like one divided by three. So it's going to be a third of the size of the column. So let's say if we had a 960 grid, 12 columns, each grid was 60 pixels wide, then the gutters would be 20 pixels or one third of 60 pixels. So with singularity, it's important to know that in some grid frameworks you have gutters on the far left and far right. Singularity does not assume you have gutters on the far left or far right. So it only has gutters in between your columns. Um, the grid goes to the edge of your container. So now let's uh, go ahead and specify. We can specify the width of our container um, and we need to actually make some columns. So our grid is set up, right? Here's our grid, it works but now we need to actually use it. So we have this main section and we want main to be actually not the site width variable that left over from the globbing. Uh, we can say the site's gonna be nine, 960 pixels wide. It's going to have a margin of uh, zero and auto so that it's nice and centered. And then we're gonna have two columns inside of here. So let's actually make this in our HTML. So scroll down, and uh, this is just Twitter, or I mean not Twitter, this is just HTML5 boilerplate. Um, and I'm just gonna make a couple of divs here. We're gonna have one named main. And this is going to just be the wrapper of everything. And now inside of main, we're going to have an aside that is going to have a class of left bar and then we're going to have uh, another div that's just going to be class uh, content area. Now um, I'm not worrying too much about um, semantics or anything like that here. This is really just to get this grid framework working. I'm just gonna throw this up real quick. Now I've gone and grabbed some hipster ipsum and I'm just gonna throw a couple of paragraphs of it, just a little bit less in the sidebar because it's a sidebar. And here we go. And now I'm actually going to uh, throw this page onto the browser so we can see it here in action. Okay, so we have our, our page here. It's, you know, absolutely non uh, awesome. And it's actually not even getting our styles at all. That's because we uh, have a style.css file here, but by default, um, HTML5 boilerplate uses main.css. So I'm gonna change this real quick just to style.css. Now if we refresh, we see our, our green background and our <laughs> our two paragraphs here that are center 960. Cool. So actually, let's make this font text this color. Let's just say color 
white just so it's not as terrible as this black on green now that this is that much better okay cool so we have a container we have a site so now we need to actually assign this content to the grid and if you've used other grid systems in the past, you've known that in your HTML, you're putting things like call hyphen one, call hyphen three through four, or just something like that to uh, put these divs or whatever onto the grid. Well, the best part about Singularity is you don't have to add any markup to your HTML. And in fact, actually using, after using something like this on a few projects, I almost like can't imagine adding uh, classes to HTML just to get something to align to a grid. The, this new system is just so much more easy to work with. I, I cannot express that anymore. Um, and so what we're going to do is add a new mixin to each of these columns and we're going to tell it what the columns are, right? So we have a total of 12 columns. Now we have our two divs, we have left bar, and we have content area. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say left bar here, and I'm gonna use the mix in grid span. So I'm gonna say include grid hyphen span, and now I'm actually going to be giving it how many columns I want this to span and what position I want this to start in. So this is the left bar. I want it to take up three out of the 12 columns and I want it to start at the first column because this is going to be on the left. So just like that, the left bar is now being placed three columns in the first column. If we come to our page, we'll immediately see that the left bar is now doing what it's supposed to be doing. The main content is overlapping it. So what we can do now is come to here and let's add in our main content uh, and it was content area is what we name this. Copy this. And now in here, I'm gonna say include grid span. And then for this one, we want this to take up the rest of the space. So obviously 12 minus three is nine, and we have it starting at the fourth column. If we were to say this third column, it would still be overlapping because this is taking up one, two, three columns, and this will start at number four and take up four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, 10, 11, and 12. So let's save this, let's refresh. We now have our two columns fitting perfectly into this container. Now what's totally awesome about this is the container, we can literally say we want this to be 1200, we can refresh and our columns are not affected at all. So we can take this and really do anything we want with it and these grid are just going to adjust to it. Okay, well this is just the bare bones of uh, singularity, right? This is the as basic as it gets, a really basic 960 grid. What's cool about singularity is we can do asymmetric grids where we have uh, columns that are different sizes and stuff like that. And we have tons of access to build really great responsive grids. There's also uh, a lot of other uh, neat little things we're gonna get into, such as like an overlay where you can actually see the uh, grid overlaid onto your content or you can change how the gutters are. So this is Singularity at its most basic. We have a 960 grid. We have a sidebar and a main column. We could change these as much as we wanted to and it's still going to work in our container. So um, that's, that's it for this lesson. We're gonna get into the cooler stuff in the next few. So as always, uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, hit us up on the forums, Facebook, anything like that. We're level up tuts everywhere. So as always, this is Scott Talinski and thanks for watching.